Hello, Long Riders! You're not gonna want to miss this video. We got some fishing action for you. We got some tips that next time you go out, I help you catch more fish. Um, all kinds of exciting stuff to get to in this video. Welcome to Everything Fly Fishing, where we tie flies that catch fish, not fishermen, and tell you, I'll take you on the water and show you how good them flies work. Now let's get right to today's video. Right at you. You're headed out to your favorite spot. A lot of people ask me, so what do you recommend I tie it on on the park a lot? Uh, leave comments below what you tie on the parking lot. And as you can see, words going below what I tie on in the parking lot. But as you're pulling into your favorite fishing hole, and you get to the parking lot of your favorite fishing hole, you can start paying attention to a lot of things. Sit there for a second in your car and look around. A lot of times you'll see dry flies land on the windshield of your car. That tells you what's in the air or what's on the water. Um, check spider webs in around your car. They can tell you what's on the water. And uh, make sure you check eddies when you get to the creek. And that'll tell you what's on the water or, you know, a lot of times spinners early in the morning will be floating around in the eddies and fish rising for spinners when you get there. That's a nice exciting thing to come into early in the morning. And just when you get to the water's edge, just sit down, relax, and enjoy and look around and observe. If the fish aren't rising, maybe you could flip over a rock and see. And there's one more important thing you want to do before you start fishing. You want to make sure it is the beginning of June, end of May. You want to make sure you're checking water temperatures. I don't tend to fish anything above 65, 70s, right where most people cut off. So 70, anything above 70, you do not want to be fishing that water. If you ask me, 65, that's upon you. But the hotter the temperature of the water, the more danger you have of killing the fish. So this is what you're looking for. A beautiful hatch in the sky. Or when they're emerging. Even when you get to the water and you start fishing, it's May. There's Hendrickson's, Blue Winged Olives, Sulphur's, Drake's. Each fish might be uh, rising for a totally different fly, a different stage of the fly, and we're going to show you right here. This fish was rising on a very tiny size 16 um, olive emerger. This fish was caught on a giant drake just about a half an hour, 45 minutes after the other one. And this fish was caught with a little bit of clever thinking. It, they were started rising on a spinner hatch about a half an hour after the other one, 45 minutes again. They rised on a spinner and I didn't have any spinners so I just cut the hackle off the bottom and the hackle off the top so you just hackle on the sides made it look like a spinner and caught this one. And on a totally different day, I was fishing on Penn's Creek, and this is all I could manage to catch, because there was only thing rising. 
and you think this was on a spring creek, right along the bank, with a whole bunch of little bookies. So we're fishing a tungsten bead jig hook, weighted heavily with a bait pattern a foot behind it. And Tracy's just fishing a basic nymph, and she's had hooked into two fi fish, landed one, and I couldn't figure it out. So I cut the egg pattern off, and this is what happens. So as you could see, you could catch a lot of fish on a lot of different stuff. Sometimes it makes a lot of changes throughout the day. So keep that in mind next time you go fishing. Keep your lines wet, out of trees, and only give them fish a sore lip. And check out all our other videos, one for you and some more fishing videos. See you on the water.